In this last video about the peristernal long axis view, we'll talk about atypical views of the peristernal long axis. Well, what are atypical views? We discussed already the normal views of the peristernal long axis. You are located on the left side of the sternum, the marker pointing to the right shoulder of the patient. And what we have to discuss or what we have to acknowledge now is that there are atypical views. How do you acquire them? Well, there are two views specifically we want to visualize. The first atypical view is the peristernal long axis view of the right ventricular inflow. Why is that important? How can you acquire this view? It's actually pretty easy. You are located in your peristernal long axis view, marker pointing to the right shoulder, and you just tilt. You tilt the transducer downwards. So for me, the transducer tilting downwards is where the uh, beam of the ultrasound is going. So it's going quarterly. So not upwards, but downwards. So tilt the transducer in this direction. If you do that, you will get a nice view of the right ventricle. You can see the right ventricle over here. This is the right ventricle, the cavity of the right ventricle. You can see it in this B mode image over here. Don't get confused. This is the left ventricle. This is the right ventricle. And now we are focusing on the right ventricle and the structures in the right heart. This is the tricuspid valve. This is the right atrium. Here you also see the right atrium. And what's really nicely visualized here is that you can differentiate in between the anterior and the posterior tricuspid valve leaflet. This is, at least from a transthoracic approach, only possible in this view. You cannot see the anterior and the posterior leaflet of the tricuspid valve differentiated in any other view. It's very important, for example, um, in, in case of drug abuses, they can have endocarditis of the tricuspid valve. You can visualize it in this view quite nicely. This is the anterior leaflet, this is the posterior leaflet. More structures we can see is here this inflow, therefore it's called RV inflow, so from the right atrium to the right ventricle, and the right ventricular inflow is the coronary sinus and the IVC, so the inferior vena cava. Sometimes the view doesn't look that nice, it also can look like this. You see here the tricuspid valve, the anterior, the, the posterior leaflet, this is the right atrium. Still we see the right ventricle to a certain degree, we can also differentiate the free wall of the right ventricle a little bit over here, but definitely the image quality is reduced. Still the information we get can be crucial. Adding color Doppler, we are back here in the B mode image. Let's visualize again the anterior, the posterior tricuspid valve leaflet, the coronary sinus, the IVC, the right atrium over here. And this is the right ventricular wall. And you can see here with color Doppler, the inflow into the right atrium quite nicely over here. And then also the inflow into the right ventricle. And this is very nice to visualize because over here you would see tricuspid regurgitation. But why do you need this view? You can do that from an apical view, for example. I will show you why, because already in this view you can see the difference in between here normal right ventricular function and here where we said before this might be reduced right ventricular function. It's distinctly different. Also, if you take a look at the tricuspid valve over here, the nice opening and closure of this young and healthy individual versus this valve over here. Here you can see the valve is opening, but it's by far not that strong. There is also a dilatation of the right ventricle if you compare the right loop or the loop on the right side versus the loop on the left side. The dilatation of the right ventricle over here and there is dilatation of the right atrium as well. So what do we expect from the right-sided patient? We do expect that there is a certain degree of reduction in right ventricular function. We do also think that there might be tricuspid regurgitation and definitely the inflow is impaired compared to the left side.